Due to graduating 13 seniors last year, Parkway Central basketball coach Aaron Miller is in a unique situation this year. Um, I think the biggest difference is in our experience level. Um, last year we had 13 seniors. Um, this year we, ha we haven't played any seniors to this point. We've been playing seven juniors, two sophomores, and then we're going to add a freshman to the mix um, tonight. So there's just been a, a lot of um, kind of struggles and bumps in the road with dealing with that inexperience and, and, uh, and trying to figure things out. While having a young team can be beneficial to a four-year program, it does not come without its adversity. Um, I think it just, there's a lot of things that maybe with a veteran team that you take for granted that we understand and we know. And with a young team, um, you just have to slow down and teach every little detail. Uh, and you can't assume that anybody knows anything. So um, I think that can be difficult at times, but it also sets you up for a lot of improvement throughout the season because essentially you come into the season um, with there's only two guys that have played together. Um, there's only two guys that have played at the varsity level, and that's obviously Oliver Kokel and Ty Adams. Everybody else is, is trying to learn on the fly, but we are learning on the fly, and we are getting better um, every game, every practice. And I think that we're going to see just major growth from the start of the season to the end of the season. With a completely new set of players, it is important to learn an individual's strengths. Oliver's been scoring it consistently all year, uh, just like he did last year. Um, what we're trying to find is some people that are scoring consistently besides Oliver. So early in the year, Wilson really shot it well and had some good scoring games for us. Recently, Ty's been more aggressive offensively and has been and been scoring, and we need him to continue to do that. And then Dylan's been our point guard all year, and it's been as a sophomore point guard, um, it's been tough. But he's gaining really, really valuable experience. And then we've got some other guys that have have done a lot of good things, like Caleb Muse is rebounding the ball at a really high level and playing hard and playing deep. We need him to start scoring a couple buckets a game. Um, and then off the bench, you know, at times it's kind of been a different guy every night, but Jonah, Jonah and Amir and Cole, they've all given us really solid minutes off the bench. And then Sam missed, Sam Sailors missed the beginning of the year with, um, with injury, but he's really been a, a valuable piece as far as defense and, and then attacking the basket on offense. Returning junior Ty Adams was being led by the big guys last year, but has needed to adapt roles during this season. I'd say it's been difficult because, you know, I've never been like the old, or not the oldest, but like the leader on the team. And so I have to step up and it's a lot harder than what I thought it would be to lead other kids. But I like it and I feel like it's better for me in the end. Expectations need to be managed while people are brought up to speed on the quicker game. This season, you know, it's always nice to win games, but I feel like this season is more important to learn and grow as a team and become stronger as a team, and then next year we'll all be back and better. Sophomore Dylan Harris is having to fill the role of being the team's point guard. I've really had to step up from just being from, like, freshman year where I was kind of, I was, like, all right, but, like, I was still playing, like, JV and freshman, and then... I got called up this summer to play on varsity and it was like it was just I just had to step up and like just become like better I guess and just I had to keep working hard so I could maintain my spot and just keep playing good. There's a big difference from junior varsity games to varsity games. It's been a little difficult just because of like the first couple of games it was like adjusting to the speed of the game because it's a lot faster than freshman and JV basketball and it was it was just like understanding that there's some guys that are going to be bigger and stronger than me and that are going to jump higher. So I just had to basically adapt around that and just play faster and just, just keep doing me. Throughout all of their struggles and growing pains, Coach has had one clear message for them. We've had some struggles. We've had some adversities. And our biggest thing is just finding a way to not let 
a mistake or what happened on the last play affect what we do on the next play. And so um, as you go through a game, you have to stay the course. As you go through a season of ups and downs and, and um, it doesn't always go the way you want it to, you have to stay the course. This has been Ethan reporting for PCH-TV.